Number one on our list of top weather events of the year in the United States is Hurricane Laura. At 1 a.m. on Thursday, August 27th, Hurricane Laura ripped into Cameron, Louisiana, with winds raging at 150 miles per hour. We're certainly experiencing these powerful blasts of wind as the storm again nears us here from our vantage point. Before tearing into the Gulf, Laura became the earliest named L storm ever on August 21st. The storm brought its first impacts to the Lesser Antilles in Puerto Rico, where it dropped heavy rain along with wind gusts up to 70 miles per hour, knocking out power for 200,000 people. Then Laura struck Hispaniola, dropping up to a foot of rain over Haiti and the Dominican Republic, where flooding took the life of more than two dozen people. The storm worked its way west, dropping rain over Cuba, Florida, and the Florida Keys before strengthening into a hurricane, meeting water temperatures well above 80 degrees and finding a lack of wind shear. Laura underwent rapid intensification into a major hurricane. Then as a Category 4 storm, Hurricane Laura struck the Gulf Coast, tying the record in Louisiana for the strongest landfalling hurricane measured by sustained winds. Here's meteorologist David Neal explaining where it made landfall. Cameron Parish on the western side is the Sabine River. These were areas that don't actually do well during hurricanes structurally. They lost a lot of power there along the Gulf Coast and all the storms coming on shore. And I think what really stood out to me was resilience. Buildings were torn apart, streets left impassable, and hundreds of thousands of area residents were left without power. Coastal communities were devastated by Laura's wind and storm surge, leaving some of the landscape unrecognizable. Widespread destruction was even observed 30 miles inland towards Lake Charles. The wind still topped 130 miles per hour. Laura quickly weakened to a tropical depression over Arkansas late on the 27th before becoming a remnant of the early on August 29th. However, heavy rain continued to spread from the Tennessee Valley to the mid-Atlantic coast. But even after Hurricane Laura was long gone, more devastation occurred as hot summer temperatures combining with high Gulf humidity settled in. Just from the heat alone, eight people lost their lives, and unfortunately 14 others seeking relief from the oppressive heat and disease died of carbon monoxide poisoning from running generators in unventilated spaces. Estimated to have cost over $16 billion in damage, taking the lives of 77 individuals. Hurricane Laura headlines our list of the top 10 weather events in 2020.